What's up guys? Today a viewer stopped by my stream to show me this easy and very quick way to get to the last chest in the Soggy Caves. I'll link his Twitter down below if you want to check it out. A lot of people have been farming the Soggy Caves for some of the best weapons in the game currently. I'll go over those and the items I use to quickly do this at the end of the video. You can see as I move up to the door, I try to get as far in the corner as I can. I click on the icon with my mouse and then I click on it with my controller. And that's it. It's that simple. I'll let the video play through one more time and you guys can see. I try to run through the level as fast as possible without attacking anything except with my bow because I have tempo theft on it, which allows me to move faster when I hit. Otherwise, I just use my artifacts to move as fast as possible and through the mobs. I try to move to the door, get as far in the corner as I can. I put my mouse on the icon. I click with my mouse, click with my controller, and that's it. It's pretty easy. So let's go over some of the items I use to do this. We'll start with the artifacts. The death cap mushroom gives you a little bit of increased movement speed. The ghost cloak gives you a very large increase in movement speed and allows you to pass through mobs so you don't have to fight them. The boots of swiftness give you a really large movement speed increase as well. The bow, which I talked about earlier, I use tempo theft on it, which allows you to steal movement speed from the mobs and allows you to move faster. I also put multi-shot on it to increase the chance of one of my arrows hitting, but that's not needed. My chest piece that I'm currently using is just a mystery armor. It's nothing special. It has two cooldown tiers on it which allows me to keep almost permanent uptime of all my artifacts. If you want the best armor piece, it'll be an evocation robe with one cooldown, one speed synergy so that you can get extra movement speed after you use your artifacts, and one swift footed so you get more movement speed after you roll. The robe also has base movement speed and cooldown reduction on it, so it's very good for going fast. Some of the weapons you're gonna be looking for that are some of the best in the game right now are the Fighter's Bindings, which is great single target damage, and the Whirlwind Axe, which is amazing AoE damage. If you guys have any questions or you wanna see some more Minecraft Dungeon gameplay, make sure you stop by my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Karth. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.